Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and what I got for you today is a review of the Parrot Mini Drone Mambo. The Mambo is, is I just did a recent review of the uh, McLean Airborne Night Flyer. This one is even more interesting because it comes with two little toys that attach to it. Um, this, it's got this claw that opens and closes so you can pick up a payload and then drop it. Plus, it has another toy. This is a cannon. It shoots these little airsoft pellets out of it. Um, it's actually pretty darn powerful too when it kicks these out. So all these, both of these devices have a little plug on the top here. They plug in the top. Let me remove this one to show you its connection. It just plugs in to the top. Both of them plug in the same way. You just press it down until it's on there nice and tight. And they are both easily removable. This unclips and uh, they work. <laughs> now, what's special about the Mambo and the Parrot Mini Drones? Uh, both, you know, the Parrot Mini Drones were one of the first, if not the first, toy grade drones to come out with optical position hold, along with actually um, an acoustic sensor on the bottom here, a sonar system for altitude hold. They do not use barometric uh, pressure to maintain altitude, right? instead they use sonar in effect. Um, very unusual, okay? These came out around uh, late 2015. Uh, they were very expensive, these, these little Parrot Mini Drones. But now they're showing up in Chinese websites, so they're getting relatively cheap nowadays. Affordable for most people, in other words, before they weren't really affordable. <laughs> so, um, what else about the Mambo? The Mambo uses, a, as along with the other Parrot Mini Drones, uses this 550 milliamp hour proprietary battery that just plugs in the back, slides in the back and plugs in, but they can also be recharged using a micro USB port on the back here, um, using just any phone charger to charge them up. The on off switch is right here, and one other thing about the mini drones, they all are controlled by your phone via Bluetooth. Very unusual, you know, one of the first quadcopters I've seen to be that use Bluetooth to control them. Now, Bluetooth, uh, I don't know about it being used as a main means of control, mainly because Bluetooth range is not very far. Uh, we're talking about 20, 20 meters or so. So, But for a toy-grade quadcopter, especially if it's ones that are designed and intended for flying around indoors, um, it should be more than satisfactory. So let's go fly this thing up. Okay, the first thing we need to do is turn on your phone. To start this up, since this is using Bluetooth, turn on your phone and turn Bluetooth on. I've already done that. And the next thing you do is plug in your battery, slide it in all the way, and at the same time, hit this reset button on the bottom here, and you'll notice, well, let's hit reset, and you'll notice first you'll see orange, and then, well, in this case it was red, and then uh, bl green blinking lights. Now, the green blinking lights, it means it's getting ready, it's starting to uh, send out a Bluetooth signal, and it's trying to hook up with my phone. Now, I'm going to open up the uh, Free Flight app, and the Free Flight app will complete the hookup here. I'm going to take my glasses off so I can see it better. And also I am going to start Mabazin so you can see this too. See what I'm doing here. Mabazin is starting up. Okay, and just as Mabazin starts up, we got Mambo. It's Mambo connected. So it took there about four or five seconds for it to connect to the app. Now, all I need to do is hit start. Um, there are other quadcopters that you can use with this. I don't have it here right now, but I have the McLean also mini drone. But, uh, and that uses the same app, but right now we're going to hit start. And what I'm going to do is also select hull since I have the prop guards on. That's my configuration. And right now I got the claw on here. Now the claw operates, if you hit this button here, notice how it closes. Hit the button there and it opens up. Hit the button there and it closes. Hit the button there and it opens up. Now what I'm going to do is Put a little Hershey Kiss there and have it grab it. And where you're going to lift that Hershey Kiss, I'm going to try to fly around a bit and try to drop it right on top of the uh, landing pad there. So first off, we're going to do take off from the ground by pressing this button here. And we have wind today. But let's see how steady it is in the wind. It's about four or five knot wind. It's, it's holding it. <laughs> so now let's go forward a bit. And pretty, putting some yaw on it, bringing it back forward and trying back to fly back into this wind. That wind's picking up, folks. 
<laughs> it really is picking up. Can I go to a higher rate? I will go at a higher rate here shortly because that wind's too much for it right now. It's blowing it backwards. There, it stopped. I'm going into the settings. And for position, selecting position. And I can't seem to find it in the sunlight right now. Let's go back to piloting. Normal radius racing. Coming out of that, backing out. Let's see if we can get forward into the wind. Now I can go into that wind. <laughs> Stopping it there. Coming to the left. Putting some yaw on it. Okay, I want to get over the pad and drop the bomb. <laughs> it wasn't even close. <laughs> so that's the idea of it, folks. It has a claw. Let's see if I can. I'm not even going to try to put it. In. Well, maybe if I can go this way. It's on my shadow. Maybe I can get it in that claw again. I ain't going to try. <laughs> but you get the idea, folks. That's the claw. Now, I want to try the gun. The gun is cool. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a landing. I'm going to press the land button. And got it. And we are going to switch it to the gun. That was the claw. Now, it's very easy to swap these. All you do is, they're like Lego blocks. Lego block connections. You just unplug them. And this one here is held by two little Lego block block connections along with a clip that hands on or clips onto the arms so we're gonna push them away see how easy that was to remove now the gun the gun is very easy to go on all it is is a Lego block connection with uh, four um, copper pins that must go into the copper uh, receptors in the bottom here so we're gonna plug it in like so and we should be good to go with a gun okay <laughs> so let's go back to the app again and let's do a hand launch this time I haven't shown you the hand launch the hand launch is achieved by holding in your hand and then there's a little hand insignia at the top there press that hand insignia the motors will start spinning and just toss it and it'll hold its position I'm not flying it folks <laughs> so let's get in front of it Get my shadow away from it. It likes to follow my shadow. See my shadow? <laughs> so watch your shadow. If your shadow gets underneath it, we'll follow it. And we're going to stand directly in front of this thing. And we're going to arm the gun. Actually, come down a little lower. I don't want to hit myself in the face. Okay, I'll hit myself in the gut. I'm happy with that. Now we'll arm it by hitting that green button. See that green button in the center? And now it flips up and it is armed, ready to fire. You hit the black one, black with green, and that fires it. So getting a little closer and fire. Fire. Ow. <laughs> fire again. Ooh, in my right shoulder. Fire again. Ooh. And that's a little too high. I don't want to get hit in the face. I got five shots in there. Fire, and one more shot. Oh, that's it. <laughs> now let's land it. And let's find those shots. They're on the, the ground here. I don't want to lose them. They're airsoft pellets. You can get replacements, but uh, I don't want to buy replacements. <laughs> I got three of them back. I don't know where the other two went. Oh, there's one more. Four. And that's that. The other one, I don't care about it. Okay, the next thing I want to do is demonstrate the camera. It has a camera. I'll put the airsoft there. We're going to do a takeoff from the ground this time. Hitting takeoff. And this time we're going to go up high. Higher. Sun's right over my head. And notice the camera button? Let's press that. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> it's right in the sun. Coming back down. Let's go over this way and go up. Back up again. Going up higher. 
Then I'm going to go out and stand under it and press. It's seeing my shadow. <laughs> it's staying with my shadow. Okay, that's enough. I took a couple pictures. Let's see if I could slide it back toward me again. Right there, picture. <laughs> slide it to the right. Picture. One more. Okay, then coming back down again. And just in time, we got a low battery alert. Low battery alert. So, pretty dang neat. See my shadow on the ground? See it following my shadow? And it's following me. <laughs> so in effect, it's a follow me quadcopter. Okay, we're going to call it quits there with the landing. Land. So, and we are going to close Mabazin. Mabazin's closed, and then we're going to close the app too. So it'll stop beeping. So that is the little Mambo. Parent Mini Drone Mambo. This is also comes in Parent Mini Drone McLean. These are just recently became, you know, are available on uh, Chinese websites now. So they're relatively inexpensive now since they're selling them on the China websites. So if you're thinking, we're thinking about getting the Parent Mini Drones about a year or two years ago when these first came out. Uh, now they might be more affordable for you. So hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out. Thank you.